Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'll show you how you can assign the main offer product for your funnel uh, once you create a funnel, alright? So let's get started. Now, in my last few videos, I, I focused on showing you how you can start creating a basic funnel. I showed you how you can use the drag and drop canvas and also I explained how to, you can add the steps and connect them, all right? Now, let's come to uh, the most important part. Uh, once you create a funnel, you have to assign what is the main product you're making the funnel for, all right? So that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. As you can see, I'm on the overview page and these are the three funnels I've created earlier, all right? So this is the very last one, last day when I added some steps and connected them. Let me just edit that. And over here, you can see I'm being taken to the drag and drop canvas. And this is where I left off last day to just to show you how to add the steps and connect them. And uh, right after you add your steps and connect them, or if you have imported a template, which means you already have the steps, all right. The first thing you need to do is to assign the main product, the main offer product for your funnel. And to do that, what you need to do is you need to assign that product in the checkout step. Okay. Let me show you how. You can see in this funnel, there is the checkout step and it has a label that says no product added. Whenever you see that label, it means that uh, you haven't assigned the main product for this funnel. So what you do is you select the checkout step and click on the configure icon or the settings icon and it will open up a drawer. Now in this drawer, you can see these are tabs, okay? So this is a products tab. And in this tab, the first thing you need to do is to add the product. So this will be the main product for which you're creating your funnel, okay? So let's say I'm just gonna add one of the books that I have. So let's say design thinking. I'm gonna click on add product. And once I do that, you'll see this will be added right here, okay? If I want, I can add more products here, okay? You can offer multiple things through a single funnel. Uh, uh, basically, maybe you can have three books as a bundle in the funnel as the main offer. And you can do that, it's fine, all right? So once you add the product here, uh, you can click on save changes and there you go. Now, if I cross this uh, drawer, you'll see on the checkout step that label is no longer there. This means you have already assigned the main product of the funnel all right so now if you design the pages and execute the funnel when someone goes to the checkout step he'll be seeing that particular product added to the checkout page right since that's the main offer of the funnel okay so that's how simple it is to assign the default main offer product uh, when you want to create a sales funnel in wp funnels all right so once you've done that the next thing to do is to design the funnel steps so in the next few videos, I'll explain how you can design each and every step of the funnel. And I'll also uh, discuss uh, the different widgets or Gutenberg blocks that we have available uh, for helping you to make this funnel functional while designing the funnel pages. All right. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.